And turning now to the conflict in Ukraine, four-way international talks have paved the way for an extended ceasefire in the east of the country between government forces and pro-Russian rebels. An agreement was reached Monday after a meeting in Berlin with the foreign ministers of Germany, France, Ukraine and Russia. German Foreign Minister Frank Walter Steinmeier said a deal was also reached to resume prisoner exchanges which have been stalled since February. He said the talks clearly showed once again how far apart Kiev and Moscow remain on resolving the crisis. In light of the worsening situation, we agreed today not only to continue with the withdrawal of heavy weapons, but also to include other categories of weapons in the withdrawal. Now tanks, armored vehicles, mortars and heavy weapons below a 100 millimeter caliber will be included in the withdrawal commitment. However, the fragile ceasefire is already being tested. Six Ukrainian soldiers were killed in the last 24 hours in the separatist-held territories, allegedly by heavy weapons. Meanwhile, the International Committee of the Red Cross is distributing food and medicine to those living near the front-line areas. The agency said displaced residents on both sides were at risk of collateral damage.